What was formerly called the Kelso Invite is now known as the Braided 64, and it's one of the biggest high school girls wrestling tournaments in the country. Fox 12's Nick Krupke takes us to the Kelso Gym, where their Hall of Fame coach is. Mats full, spirits high, in the home of the Highlanders at Kelso High. <laughs> the Braided 64 is one of the largest high school girls wrestling invitationals in the country. I come from 85 kids, roughly, the first year to this, uh, running two mats, and now we're running 12 mats. More than 800 wrestlers from over 100 schools in four different states competed during the two-day event created 16 years ago by longtime Kelso wrestling coach Bob Friend. Don't hang over the top. He's really understanding, and he, like, focuses on us, and he helps us in ways that no other coach can really help you. His goal is just to make us better. That's what we gotta get our grips up. Five decades in the sport and 32 years at its alma mater of KHS. Friend has a new title, Washington State Wrestling Hall of Famer. I guess if you stick around long enough, you get you get recognized for something. It's well deserved. He puts in more time than anybody that I know in the sport of wrestling and, and everything he does. It's just how he's wired, so. You know, this is kind of Bobby's brainchild. The Hall of Fame leader was the director of female wrestling in the Evergreen State and the president of the Washington State Coaches Association. I just think it's cool that Washington initially was one of the first three states to sanction. You know, and now you're seeing Oregon start to grow, and, and they'll, they'll grow faster than we did just because it's already out there. Good work. The ever-growing future for girl grapplers has been one of the biggest wins in Friends' tenure as is coaching with some of his former athletes, like Tyson Lindman, who helps run the Braided 64. The sport of wrestling is not easy. And, you know, when you start seeing those girls busting their tail, it, it just catapults them to another work ethic. And it really just take, takes them down a path of success. You know, the appreciation of all the coaches and everybody sticking with this tournament and making it what it is is pretty cool. Reporting at the Braided 64 here at Kelso High, Nick Krupke, Box of Oregon.